Ugh. Are you feeling strong, team? I hope so, because today we're doing full body strength. Join me as we warm up. Roll your shoulders, get your joints ready as I explain what we're gonna do. Six exercises, six big exercises that work everything in our body. The muscles in our legs, in our tummy, in our arms. We're gonna work them in under 10 minutes today and we're gonna do it really quickly. You can do this as often as you like. Once you've learned the exercises, repeat them whenever you need to. Twist. This is still a warm up, but when we get into the flow, we are doing 60 seconds per exercise on six different exercises. And I'm giving us 30 seconds rest between each because with strength training, that's what you need to do. You work the muscles hard, you rest, you work them hard again. That's how we get stronger, as simple as that. Hold on to a friend, a wall, an animal, maybe not an animal, anything you've got nearby that's solid, swing your leg across your body. This is the last of our warm-up ones. We're doing very minimal amounts of warming up today because I wanna get you straight into action. But you know, guys, the more warm-up you can do, the better. So if you wanna go for a little light jog, little walk around the block, run around the playground, whatever you wanna do, go and do it. Swing this leg and let's feel the body just get warm and get lubricated. Many, many muscles today. As we go through, I'll explain what each muscle group is, but all you need to know, guys, is we're working pretty much all the big muscles in your body. Every single muscle group will get hit today. And if you wanna learn as we go, you're in the right place. Do you feel warm? Grab some water, have a quick sip, because hydration is absolutely key. If you wanna get stronger, quicker, faster, you need the good stuff. I'll pop that over here. I'll use it in our rest periods, keep it nearby. So first exercise is gonna start in about 15 seconds. It's gonna be something called a squat. Now you need enough room that you can have your hands by your side, you're not touching anyone nearby, and I want your feet at shoulder width, okay? When you hear my beat, we are gonna sit as low as we can. There it is, into a squat. Now what you do with your hands is whatever you wanna do, but the main thing, guys, is sit backwards into your heels. And as you sit into those heels, you're able to squeeze the glutes. These are muscles in the bottom, the buttock area. They're your glutes. And as we go into our squat, that's what I want you to think about. Sit into your chair, squeeze, stand up. And this is the speed today. I don't want you to go too fast. I want you to slow it down. Let your brain find the muscles we're trying to work. Glutes, 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 squeeze, push the heels in the floor. 20 seconds left, can you get any lower? Can you? Can you squat any lower? Try, try and get lower if your body lets you. Squeeze the muscles. It's gonna make us stronger, I promise you that. One more, come on, one more. Rest, take 30 seconds, take another sip of water. The great thing with strength training is the rest part. It's my favorite bit of any strength training. Really important we don't rush through because what we've just done is break down muscle tissues. We've worked them to their exhaustion and now they're rebuilding. Next exercise is gonna be something called a lunge, lunges. So you're gonna stand, feet narrow, and when you hear my beep, step back and drop your knee to the floor, alternating legs, okay? Alternating legs, so step back, drop your knee as close to the floor as you can. I've gone right down to the rug, because I practice these lunges every day, I love them. It's kind of my job, that's why I do it. But you're getting as low as you can. If it's to here, that's all right. You just build it up and you'll feel yourself get stronger over time. So keep going at this speed. Just change angle so you can see the lunge from here. You're stepping back, getting low. It's actually the front leg that's the strongest one. So I don't know if you can feel that as you do it. You step back, but the front leg's in charge. Can you feel that? I really can. Again, those glutes, the muscles in our buttocks, are trying to work. 10 seconds. Keep going. You might feel your heart rate coming up as well. I can feel it already. This is good. Rest. 
two down, four to go. You're doing great so far. Can you hear that? Are you breathing? I'm definitely breathing. That's two leg ones out the way. Next up, we've got push-ups. So if you get yourself in a position on the floor, I hope you've got a mat or something soft to put your knees on, because we're gonna do a kneeling press up. And if you've got any adults in the room, or maybe you stronger kids, full press up. Hand, shoulder width, off we go. Press up into the floor, back up again. So from the kneeling position, you're able to pull your belly button in, squeeze your chest, so these muscles in the arms, to push yourself back up. We're keeping that slow speed. We're not going too fast. We don't rush things like this. We've got to enjoy it. Real steady push, drive through the floor. Keep your core strong. Now, if you are going for the full press up, you big, strong animal, you, you will keep a big, long, straight body through the whole press up. And wow, oh, you should feel the challenge has just gone up somewhat. Oh, this is tough. 15 seconds. I'm gonna try and keep going. Stick with me, whether you're on your knees or you're in a full press up, it doesn't matter. Work your arms as hard as you can. I probably should have mentioned, oh, rest. We should be breathing during these exercises. I hope you realized that before I told you. <laughs> I hope you haven't been holding your breath. You breathe with each repetition when you do strength training. You feed your muscles with the oxygen they need. So when we're doing those push-ups, the chest muscles are <gasps> feeding oxygen. <gasps> feeding oxygen. Good stuff. Six seconds and then we're going into shoulder squeezes. These are the back of our body. So now lay down front ways on the floor. Place your hands out like a plane and then squeeze your shoulder blades. Release, squeeze your shoulder blades. So just like a plane on the floor. Very small movement. My head and chin are off the floor. Can you see that? And I'm looking down at the ground. See if you can see any money or food on the floor. Hope not. <laughs> and then you're just squidging your shoulder blades. If you could see your shoulder blades, you'd see the bones squidging together, but nothing else in the body's moving. That's important. Try not to look forward or to the side, I want you to look down, because that's keeping our back nice and straight. Oh, it gets hard after a while. Your arms start to feel really, really heavy. The wider your arms go, by the way, the harder this is. Five seconds. Oh, rest. Brilliant. Such a sneaky one, that is. Oh, what we got left? Two more left of our strength circuit. So far, we've done legs, chest, back. Now we've got to do some abdominals. Everyone's favorite bit of a workout, isn't it? The core, oh, it is. So you've got 10 seconds, we're doing something called bicycle crunches. I'm sure I've got a microphone in the way. You're gonna lay on your back, you're gonna face the sky, bring your knees up to here, to 90 degrees. And then with bicycle legs, you're gonna do this. So off we go. Bicycle legs. One goes at a time. Turn your head and shoulders towards the knee as it comes in. Can you see that? We're riding a bike upside down. Now don't promote riding bikes upside down, unless you're a stunt man or woman. But for today, we're working the core. So as you do this, oh, squeeze that six pack. Make it tight. The higher you can have your shoulders off the floor, the harder this is. Can you keep it up? Can you? Oh, stretch those legs as far as you can. Oh, it's burning. 15 seconds. Oh, stick with me. Stick with me. Oh, God, it's burning now. Five. Four, three, two, one. Oh, wow. Oh, that gets me. Some of you guys and girls may have some really strong tummy muscles and you'll find that okay. Some of you won't. This is all about building it up. One more exercise, I'll save the best till last people. It's called a burpee. 
it's one of the most hated exercises in the world but today we're going to learn to love it so we're going to go from a plank bring our feet in and stand up so plank bring your feet in stand up plank feet in stand up that's a burpee you can speed it up if you want but today is about being strong not fast strong so I want you to feel like your plank as you go into it boom my core muscles are strong my arms are strong then I stand up <clears throat> I'm strong off we go oh oh want to add a push-up do you want to add a push-up oh, why not and how about a squat at the top wow now we've got some crazy burpee cool any version you want any version just keep going it's the last exercise how long we got 10 seconds come on Frank oh, oh squat whose idea was this oh, last one oh, wow wow have a drink have a drink that is our six exercises you can go back to the start again if you want to do it all again I'm going to go and have a lie down because I deserve that well done for getting through it I hope your body feels like it's had a full workout today because it really has you've done legs twice you've done your chest you've done your back you've done your tummy and then you've done a full body burpee exercise be proud of yourself go and have a little stretch have a cool down little walk around the playground around the park whatever you can do get your breath back drink loads of water and i'll see you again soon cool i think my guns are bigger already We've got six exercises in total. Oh. <laughs> That's fun for the outtakes, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you can't get the staff these days, can you? Hey? <laughs> Start again. <laughs>